Dutch. The Tagalog go. accent in English can be seen as a little bit more like aggressive sounding. Oh, the Filipino aggressive. The My personal preference is Filipino English, just because the pronunciation is very clear. It's very easy to understand. Austria, we don't speak that well English. We just learn it as we leave the country. What's up, Philippines? Welcome back to another reaction video with your host Nelly. I am so happy to see all of your smiling faces again. Today we are reacting to American ranked the best English speaking countries in Asia. Wait, before we do, type in the comment section what you think which country is the best. I personally know that Filipinos speak pretty, pretty solid English. But yeah, let's see what this video says. You let me know in the comment section. I feel like Philippines has a really good reputation. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to ah. you guys. The stereotype of the Indian accent is helping you fix device. So sorry, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not all of them, but I've heard a lot of different accents from a lot of different Asian countries, especially today. So to mm -hmm. me, they all sound, for the most part, different. But today, I want to see if I can, we can figure out who is who. <laughs> At least by like the American so standard, <laughs> we don't really hold people to a standard of perfection, at least where I'm from. But I do notice that People from Asian countries, when they learn English, they try really hard to be to speak it as perfectly, as close mm. to textbook English as possible. That's what I've noticed a lot. Yeah, true. You guys really study study hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, like from the top, just, like I love how she loves about her own jokes, and every day is just sitting there like, okay, lady. <laughs> Most fluent to like who's maybe like the least. Okay, it's gonna be, it's hard. In my mind, number one, I feel like Philippines would be the highest. Mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to you guys, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think number two would be India, number three, Singapore, number four, Hong Kong. But like, honestly, to me, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Malaysia are so like, almost on the same level. Yeah, I think <laughs> maybe like three Singapore, four Hong Kong, five Malaysia, Six, oh, Vietnam is really good too. Usually they study really well. So I think six, Vietnam. Seven, South Korea. South Korean people, okay. when they speak English, they have to overcome a lot of pronunciation obstacles. Mm, Number eight would be Thailand. Number nine, okay. Japan. Number 10, China. But I think overall, these wow. countries do a really good job with like learning English and pronouncing it. It's just, they're so close together, honestly. Actually, <laughs> just because people love to watch anime these days in America, when people <laughs> speak with a Japanese accent, people said, oh wow, so you're so kawaii. Like my favorite anime. Americans think that Japanese accents are really cute. I personally think that like, if someone is speaking to me in an Indian accent, I think oh, like, oh, they must be like, he's like a scientist or something. They sound really intelligent. Well, they must do oh. something in like STEM or something. Interesting. I personally, I really like the Cantonese accent. To me, it sounds really cool or something. I, I, I can't explain it, it just sounds really cool. I ranked it by... Okay, just at to this point, I just have to say it. Like, it just feels like she's having a monologue for like several minutes. We're two and a half minutes in and it's just her talking and everybody's just like nodding. <laughs> like, okay, lady. And everybody's just like sitting there like they are at, at school waiting for the exam to start. And it's just, oh my God, the situation could just be a little bit more loosened up. Ranked it so. by fluency. I feel like people in the Philippines know like every like, English word. And the way that they pronounce it, like she pronounces just like the American style. So to me, Philippines is the closest to American style pronunciation. Okay. So Sing sorry, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's subjective to how one is being upbringing is dependable on that factor. Okay. I feel like maybe the ranking is because that the entire nation like everyone really uses English a lot like yeah. across every races, Chinese, Malay, Indian or any other races, our common language is English. I think that's why they rank the proficiency level as that. And like other countries they might use often their own languages. Mm. Even if you grow up in Singapore, if you learn science, mathematics, you know your history subjects, all is in English. Ah, interesting. That's why maybe they rank it as 
as such, but it's still dependable on individual. <laughs> I feel like my pronunciation is not the best. I don't want to reason why my pronunciation is not the best, but I have a bad pronunciation, so I'm so sorry, Singapore. Aww, but I love bless you. Her. Thank, thanks for improving my English. <laughs> I think it's because the main language that they use is really English. Like even the language that they use in the entire education system is English. I know that in, for example, countries like Hong Kong, if you're not in international school, you'll use Chinese Mandarin for. No, not really. There are two kinds of schools. Um, yeah. One is we use English to oh, teach English our mathematics really good. or history, and one is using Cantonese to teach yeah. these subjects. Yeah, it depends. But mm. for us, it's the entire is all yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. So even like we have a Chinese school, right? Yeah. There's a Chinese school in Singapore, but they use English to teach too. Maybe that's why I don't know, but I'm so sorry. I love you, Singapore. English Let's is how have. I would imagine people think like a Chinese accent yeah. sounds like, at least in America. And so, actually, I can understand everything. What is your mother tongue? My mother tongue is Chinese. Chinese. Okay, I yeah. hear a lot of like Mandarin influence mm. when, when she speaks. So, I think, d yeah, as you said, depending on the mother tongue, Singlish can actually be different. Yeah. I never. I sound even very German. About that. Thank you for explaining that too. It makes That's sense. That's a comfort too. Yeah. <laughs> Philippines English. The there we Tagalog go. accent in English can be seen as a little bit more like aggressive sounding. Oh, the Filipino, aggressive. the Tagalog accent with English is very, it's really clear. Yeah. But and also, I know a lot of people like in Korea go to the Philippines to learn English. Yeah. And so because of that, I feel like Philippines has a really good reputation for knowing English and teaching English. Even though like Singapore has a lot of high ranking, I think that Philippines should be <laughs> higher than that one, but Singapore also takes a lot of like money and time yeah. in learning English too, so it's difficult to truly rank it, I think. It's because Singapore, um, I, I used to work in a company, I'm from the HR, human resource. Solid, so solid English. Whenever there's an applicant and you're working for, or you're applying for a multinational company, they would give you their ranking of you know, the English proficiency grade. So I think growing up, they are preparing themselves to have those um, examinations to assess their English. So, yeah, and I also think that Singapore English um, varies because they are following the British English. So, yeah, in the Philippines. Wait, so the way how I would have done this video would just be, I would just give them some phrases to repeat and then make a ranking according to how they pronounce it. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's an individual and it can fluctuate from individual to individual. But yeah, they're just basically having a conversation about overall without any examples. So it's a little bit difficult to, for those who don't know how Singaporean English sounds or how Chinese English sounds or whatever so yeah the philippines for the philippines we basically follow the american english yeah. and we watch all the television uh, the shows the movies in english so we don't need the subtitle yeah. uh, most of our subjects were taught in yeah. english in rather than filipino or tag tagalog so yeah i think that influenced the english speaking proficiency of yeah. filipinos yeah. malaysia english I think Malaysia, it depends on how the person grow up. Some people, they come from an English-speaking family. Some people, they, uh, they speak Malay at home. Some people speak Chinese at home. For my case, I went to a Chinese-speaking school when I was in primary school. So I think it really depends on the environment. And we also learned science and maths in English. But most, I think the rest of the subjects we learn in Malay. And I also think that I kind of agree that Singapore has a good command of English because I have studied with the textbook of Singapore before. So I think, yeah, mostly wow. like the environment. So every individual is different. Malaysian? Okay, I have Malaysian friends and they have some kind of like very playful way of how they pronounce English. So it's like, no, 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 no. It's like, it goes like this. So it's just like, I don't know. It's just like, it's like a song. <laughs> it's, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's very distinctive. 
the English. Actually, this is the first time I've ever met a Malaysian person. <laughs> I think so. Honestly, your English skill is basically perfect. So <laughs> you could you yes. could easily live in the States and have no problems. Nice. Actually, I think all of you guys could. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's using a lot of the proper, like trying to use as much proper